Hello, welcome back. This is Igbarash. I'm playing Prince of Persia. I'm joined here by to Steve Zor. Yo. And I'm also here with Omar. Hello, hello. And we're fighting a giant uh, aberration with a sword. So there it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Well, I mean, obviously the uh, the cult culting story was a no go because this dude is magic. Right. And <laughs> well, maybe he slept with the mother. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought he was the king. Wait, this no, this isn't the father. This is some being that came out of the ground. I think. I, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Ooh. Oh, well, where, uh, that's where the father fell. Oh, this is the, uh, like we, Amiri guy. Yeah, we awoke this some ancient god. We or, awoke him. Yeah. Maybe it was the blood sacrifice of the father. It could be. <laughs> I didn't see him die. I don't even remember. <laughs> okay, so the cuckold, the cuckold story still lives. Okay, Anyways, yes. <laughs> this tandem fighting. Yeah. This tandem it's fighting. Cool, yeah. looks, it looks more, uh, more well designed now. And before yeah. I thought, okay, she's just jumping on my back the whole time. Is there something going on? You know, what's going to happen? But <laughs> right. Well, I, I mean, it. the last time she was jumping on your back because he was fighting my father, so she couldn't really do anything. I guess that's uh, a narrative that way of true. explaining it. The the truth of the game is that they didn't introduce the tutorial of putting her in the fight until until you were fighting that supernatural dude. It said like press Y to use magic attack. Quick being, <laughs> dude. Uh, Dude, it's too up. meta. Stay yeah, inside yeah. the game. Okay. <laughs> you like, there's quick time events you might have noticed during fights, like if the monster gets on top of you, you press A or something. Yeah, I've got it more. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. that's pretty good. I was talking about that the other day, like, did Resident Evil invent those quick time events? Like, weren't they the first ones to do that? Like RE4? Yeah, was it? I think it was four, wasn't it? Where they? Yeah, on the GameCube. Was, right, like during the cinematics, you have to press buttons. Wait. Wait, then what did God of War do? When did when did God of War even come out? Uh, I don't know, but I feel like Resident Evil invented it. I thought it did, but I couldn't. I wasn't sure. Well, if God of War, the first God of War was PS2, then it's the same era as GameCube, so it could yeah, be it could similar timeline-wise. Right. It's still interesting. But I, I know, are, I know Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 was the one where you're like in Russia or something, and the villagers were zombies, but not really. Right. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> I think that's the one. Oh, now the world tree is all like black. They more like necros. <laughs> you guys see that? <clears throat> oh, goddamn it. Yeah. Darkness descending upon the land. Creature! <laughs> Any more of your relatives gonna try and kill us? Or is it just your father who wants to end the world? Do you think I wanted any of this? Oh, yeah. She's very serious. <laughs> Presuming the great god of darkness is going to squish us flat. <laughs> you think I wanted any of this? She said that a bit ago. Not fully. The temple must still have the power Okay, so I guess we can tell that this universe, they readily accept, like, magic and the paranormal. Yeah. Uh, there's some god of darkness. A something. She's explaining it. Aramon. Oh, they're gonna kill the world tree. Don't worry. Where one Teldrassel falls, another Nordrassel rises. <laughs> oh man, don't even, don't remind anybody about that game. Uh, I second that. <laughs> you are going to DPS very, very slowly. Now. And by slowly, I mean fucking slow. Well, say what you want about World of Warcraft. The Warcraft universe is pretty <clears throat> yeah, well done. Yeah, it is. I do. I do agree with that. I do agree with You that. guys haven't even read all the lore, like the creation story, like I have. It's on the website. Oh, I, mean, <laughs> I printed it out so I could read it on the is... toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Standard. I know. I printed it out on Wabash laser printer. Man, these... 
Man, oh, I'm surprised man. somebody hasn't made a meme out of that expression. Like, this thick. <laughs> this <laughs> thick. I could have had carpets this thick. He lost some very good rugs. Yeah. It is cool because he's kind of like, I'm, I was just looking for my fucking donkey. And what the fuck? This girl jumps on top of me. <laughs> All of a sudden, there's no more light. What's up? What's all this stuff? Oh, uh, it's like a level? I see. I just played this today, so I was also experiencing it for the first time. Well, not technically, but it's not like I remember any of this. So, yeah. And then you Dude. press you press Y and she shows you where to go. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like the beacon in yeah. Dead Space. It's a lot better than <laughs> yeah. the, the Laura Croft survival mode. I'd prefer the... Oh my god, survival instinct. Oh, instinct, yeah, that yeah, shit Tomb, sucks. Tomb Raider 2013. <laughs> if you need to know where to go, don't worry. Just hit right bump. <laughs> oh god. But yeah, would you call this... I really... Would you call this cell-shaded? This shaded? is really... Is this cell-shaded? Would you call uh, it that? I don't know, ask the art expert. Oh yeah. <laughs> Omar? Okay. It just looks like the characters are cell shaded. Yeah. The environments, not so much. Right. Because in Borderlands, the environments, everything was everything. cell shaded. Like you could see, like if you were like really looking at some something at a shallow angle, you'd see like a really thick outline. You don't see it here. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, they're gonna hug each other and then have a <laughs> intimate memory no. together. <laughs> Whatever. She was having a vision, and oh, if right. anybody who has watched Angel, they know visions are always accompanied by head-splitting migraines. <laughs> oh, of course. Should've known that. It's debilitating. You just don't understand. <laughs> oh, I do see it. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Omar has visions every day. Uh, not every day. <laughs> not every day, but... Maybe you're having one if right see, now. If, okay, Maybe this isn't see, real. No, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. If I see the prince like sliding down some sort of like a uh, sl slope, bouncing off a canopy and then jumping into a tree, then I might have just seen that like last night. <laughs> Omar has prophetic dreams. If you guys didn't know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> mostly, mostly apocalyptic and calamitous in some way or the other. <laughs> Oh, that's good. He specializes in the catastrophic. This is true. <laughs> Ooh, look at this like creep darkness. I know that's it's spreading over shit. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I think I'm getting some mad acid reflux from all that good ass food I ate the past couple days. <laughs> yeah. That'll Was it like like true? This is that's some good Prince of Persia right yeah. there. Yeah, here. So they're intro. Yeah, this first level, like, well, I, it, I guess it's not technically the first because I chose it. Okay, you see me like fuck, fuck up that jump, and then they do a little, <laughs> they do a little yeah, hand was... swing around each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. Oh cool. yeah. no, well, I mean, lean on me <laughs> when you're not strong. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> This game is just gonna, oh man, it's just, I'm gonna be singing that song every, every other <laughs> second, because it's this tandem fighting. Oh, brilliant, oh. brilliant pause. Yeah, I know. I know. That was about. Shouldn't have been in the video. I was contemplating, like, God, I was seeing the tutorials, text is still there. And for a second, I contemplated turning it off during the recording, and I was like, no, it'll go away eventually. But it, like, doesn't. <laughs> it's, it's there for so long. Anyway, whatever. I I kind of like this. It's it's the same kind of thing where you're doing really intricate platforming. Yeah. But it's a different scale and like a different view, definitely a different camera view right. than the Saints of Time game. Right. Absolutely. You don't... It's 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 it follows you. It's more third person than like the shifting mm -hmm. shifting camera view you had in Saints of Time. For sure. Yeah. This is the level yeah, no, there. Works. This is where they introduce you to basically all the jumping elements. So you got the ring that you hold on to. You got the fucking, like, cracks in the cliff. Here's some vines. They're going to teach you about vines now. <clears throat> How 
How, and I love Some how she intimate moments. <laughs> she hangs on your back. <laughs> it's great. <clears throat> it sure does seem like you're doing all the work, and maybe she could just assist you a little bit more with her force powers. Uh, right. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. When whenever she uses her powers, her life oh, force she gets, gets strained, drained. Right? That's fine. <laughs> you know, his muscles never get tired. But that's cool. Hey, that she's, you know... she's still doing. She's still doing a surprising amount of work for the amount of power she's draining. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But look at her. She just teleported to the there. vines. Like, couldn't she just teleport us across? We don't need the vines. <laughs> well, I mean, she doesn't Billy even have so to far. teleport. Both, just herself. Right. Because then we're well, both. Well, I mean, if you think of if you think of it this way, the prince is the rogue and the princess is the mage. Okay. And they'll get around however they fucking want. Basically. Oh, this this is sweet. Check out the sweet like roof run and into the ring. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. It's, well, I mean, you do have the the. Claw of Doom, or whatever we want to call it. It's not really a Wolverine hand because yeah, every finger has not, spikes. Right. <laughs> so that helps, certainly. <clears throat> Let's call it the Luke Skywalker hand. Yeah. That's um, better. Yeah. That's a good one. Ow. That's not true. That's impossible. Watch out for the creep. It's the creep on the wall. Okay, here's a big uh -huh. bed. Yeah. Light. That's a brilliant observation. Door closes behind you, we're trapped. Nice. <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. So what I... Is this uh, on a play creature? I, okay, I'm losing some faith in our hero. Like, before an, even a single swing was thrown, he calls for help. <laughs> I just immediately held block. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> But this fight was a lot harder than I expected it to be when I was encountering it. And uh, every time, every time she attacks, that's me pressing Y. Just by the way, so I am controlling that. He doesn't take a lot of damage. No, I, I guess because I, I still don't even know. I think you see how the corners of the screen are red, so I think that means I'm a little bit damaged. Yeah. But I don't even know. I haven't died in the game. No, you took some damage. It's just when you hit him, he doesn't take. Yeah, damage. he's yeah. This fight was a lot harder than I thought. Very what a... reminiscent of some of the fights in uh, Dark Siders that I had. Like, oh some yeah. Of them really, really long and hard. Oh yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> obligatory, just obligatory. What? Oh, I do like the throws. They're pretty sick. Oh uh, yeah, that's the gauntlet attacks are the throws. Oh, spam X, force him back. So, what kind of weapon Make... does this monster have? It's a giant scissor. It's like on a Swiss Army knife. I don't. It's like the scissors on a Swiss Army knife. Uh, it's it's kind of like a claw weapon, actually. I, but I mean, it's it's got like a like a Zoidberg scissoring action. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it's very useful because. If okay, your so you have one loses okay. an appendage. Adam. Mm -hmm. Adam, look at the look at the blade. You have one central static blade, and you have right. two, two that uh, come adjacent out. scissoring blades. Yeah. So you stab and you scissor someone, basically. That's how it would work. Or Can you, you stop stab. talking about scissoring? <laughs> Let's just say scissoring some not... more. <laughs> Oh jeez. Here I go with my wild card shit. <laughs> wild card bitches! I'm not sure. Sorry. Oh, that was After good. reference Charlie Day there. Oh, yeah. I think she's about to have another migraine. What do you guys think? Ah, hold on. Either that or she's ascending to a higher plane of existence. <laughs> I think if I press Y. Well, here we go. <laughs> Tap Y repeatedly. You're very, very fifth element. Mm. Except she has the power of oh, life. Yeah. Huh. 
Ah, I can totally see where Bioshock got Bioshock Infinite got their uh, transitioning environment shit from. Although theirs looks way super. This game looks pretty good for 2008, for sure. Yeah. And accidentally well, was. 2008 is like next gen. She's weak yeah. again. Oh great, are we gonna have to carry her? Wait, if they're fertile, why do they need to be healed? That's a good. That's what I was wondering. Good point. Yeah, you're in fine shape. For I say she's in fine shape for a lot of things, bro. <laughs> so light seeds. We need light seeds. Come back for more light seeds. <laughs> 